Hey, my name is Eric, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about if personal capital is a scam. Is this service legitimate? This is a pretty reasonable question to ask yourself because, frankly, the tool itself is pretty great, and it's free. So anytime you hear that word free, you're like, well, what's the catch, right? Well, we're going to cover that today in this video and also kind of cover some of the concerns I had with this service before signing up with it, uh, and maybe that'll help you make a more informed decision for yourself and what you want to do to track your finances. Real quick, if you're not familiar, uh, Personal Capital is a financial tool that allows you to use its retirement planner tool, allows you to track your budgets, your savings, your net worth, cash flow, all sorts of stuff that you can do all in one place, but the best part is that it's 100% free unless you use one of their upsells, which we'll cover in a little bit. But before we get to that, I wanted to introduce you to the founder of Personal Capital, who is Bill Harris here. So if you look at his about information, uh, it's talking about the fact that he is the former CEO of Intuit and PayPal. So this guy is not a slouch. <laughs> CEO at Intuit and PayPal. So I think when you're giving your information as far as like uh, connecting into bank accounts, credit cards and stuff like that, I know that was a little you know apprehensive because of that. But the person who founded this is no slouch. He knows what he's doing. And they actually, Personal Capital at this point has over 400 employees. Uh, that's split between their headquarters at Redwood City in California, just outside of San Francisco and Atlanta, Georgia. And one of the interesting things, if you look at his history here that I found interesting, is uh, he was on the board of directors for Yodley, but really impressive list here. I mean, board of directors at GoDaddy Software, uh, Answers.com, Earth, Earthlink, really, really interesting. I will never have a LinkedIn profile that looks anything like this. <laughs> but uh, the reason that personal capital is free, I'll show you right now what they do. When you give them your information, uh, what they're going to have access to is you know, your net worth, your investments, and all of that. And you're going to get these pop-ups that come up from time to time like this. Like this is one that I'm actually just showing you right now. It's like, nice work. You've earned a free session with a personal capital advisor. Well, they're an investment brokerage, right? They have these personal capital advisors. They actually charge a really reasonable fee. It's about 50 basis points from my understanding. Uh, if you want to work with them the same way you might work with a financial advisor in your hometown. Uh, so basically what they do is they give you this free tool and this tool is what's called a loss leader, meaning that they are actually losing money by creating this tool. But the whole purpose of this tool is to create leads for their uh, financial services, for their financial advisors. And to date, they're doing pretty well with it because as of early 2020, they have over 11 billion client assets under management and over 2 million users that are using this platform. And really quick, uh, one of the tools I wanted to just show you here, which is pretty neat, actually two of them. Uh, this is the retirement planner. Uh, this used what's called a Monte Carlo simulation. So like 10, 15 years ago, you'd go to a financial advisor, they're all using this tool to kind of like look real smart and now it's just free on this tool on personal capital. So that's kind of neat that they've uh, put this into uh, their tool. So this is a really neat, interesting tool that you can play with quite a bit. You can put in different scenarios, see if you know what the probability is that you'll still have money. I'm using this because maybe I wanna retire early and I have to have an idea of how much uh, money I have to put away to be able to do that. One of the other in, uh, interesting tools is if you go to investing and allocation, I find this super, super helpful because what this does is if you ever have to balance your portfolio, if you're doing it yourself, uh, this will give you an idea of how your money is allocated in your portfolio. And the reason that's kind of hard to do sometimes is, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you might have a 401k at work in one program, and then you have your personal Roth IRA, and then maybe have a brokerage account. What personal capital allows you to do is put everything into one dashboard. So if you are trying to rebalance and you know maybe I feel like I'm a little heavy on US stocks or bonds, you can rebalance easily by using this tool. And the last thing that I'll mention is if you are interested in signing up for personal capital, I have a full review that you can check out over here on the screen. And I also have a link in the description below. And if you use my link to sign up, I may get an affiliate commission, but again, it's still free to you to sign up. Just be aware that you will get some marketing messages. Uh, there's no advertising on the platform, but it's just mostly marketing messages to check out and uh, have a meeting with one of their financial advisors. Hopefully this answered your questions and I think you're gonna love the tool as much as I do. All right, guys. Take care.